New tonight, Elmira Ann Corning's annual Juneteenth celebration continues today, commemorating the end of slavery for African Americans. Our 18 News reporter Sharif D. King tells us how this year played out. As part of an annual event, local leaders, vendors, and community members joined together to celebrate Freedom Day since 1865. It is an amazing experience. I think this is the first time I've seen this amount of people of color together celebrating a worthy cause. Residents of various cultures were in attendance showing their support for Juneteenth. And to see as many people around participating the way they're participating is just an excitement. Um, Especially the time that we live in, you know, with mass shootings and racial divides and injustices and inequality. A new community member says she's honored to see the June team holiday being celebrated the way it was today in the Southern Tier. I am new to the area myself, uh, but relocating here from Texas, uh, Juneteenth was widely celebrated in that state. And so now to see New York representing Juneteenth and honoring it as it should be honored, um, I feel privileged to be a part of this. Local leaders speak to the value that comes with having a diverse audience for this year's Juneteenth affair. It means unity, and we're talking about unity in the community. We want a healthy, vibrant community. And in order to have that, we have to come together. It's like a puzzle. Everybody has a piece in the puzzle. So all of these different groups, all of these different people bring a piece to that puzzle. And if we can all put our pieces in, we can have a complete puzzle. Pastor Thornton shared that it's time to recognize that Juneteenth is just as significant and impactful as July 4th. Reporting in Elmira, I'm Sharif D. King. 18 News.